Hi, and welcome to the short video presentation of our paper about KIT, the Kinesthetics Transfer Teacher, in which we present the design and evaluation of a tablet-based system to promote the learning of ergonomic patient transfers. My name is Maximilian Dürr, and I'm presenting this work on behalf of my co-authors Marcel Borowski, Carla Gröschel, Ulrike Pfeil, Jens Müller and Harald Reiterer. Our work is related to nursing care. Nurses frequently need to transfer patients as part of their daily work. However, manual patient transfers can pose a major risk to nurses' health. In order to reduce negative health implications, various government-supported schools in Germany provide nursing care students with a kinesthetics basic course. The basic course introduces the kinesthetics care conception, henceforth abbreviated as kinesthetics. Kinesthetics is supposed to enable patient transfers in a way so that injuries are avoided and the health development of nurses and patients is supported. Unfortunately, after the basic course, nursing care students are hardly supported in the learning and application of patient transfers based on kinesthetics. Our work contributes first by introducing KIT, a tablet-based system to promote the learning of ergonomic patient transfers. Second, we contribute by an evaluation in a nursing care school, which investigates how well a system like KIT can address nurses' needs. So let's first take a closer look at KIT. Two nurses can use KIT to learn kinesthetics-based patient transfers together. KIT provides a menu from which the nurses can select the patient transfer for learning. During learning, the nurses are guided along three phases. In the first phase, the nurses can explore interactive instructions for the patient transfer. As part of this, the nurses receive important information about each step of the patient transfer. During training, KIT provides key video and audio instructions for different transfer steps. For the evaluation of KIT, we made use of the Wizard of Oz method to simulate the automatic detection of risky behaviors during the training. Additionally, nurses' training conduct was recorded by an RGB camera. After the training, the nurses can review and discuss their performance. As part of this, KIT provides the nurses with feedback for detected risky behaviors. So after this overview on KIT, let's also take a brief look at some parts of our design process. The design of KIT was based on a previously conducted qualitative study, which provided an initial understanding of the context. The content for KIT was created together with nursing care teachers. We used 3D motion capturing to record data for eight different patient transfers together with a professional teacher. Afterward, we post-processed the captures, created 3D animations and reworked the animations based on the feedback of four nursing care teachers. The teachers were also involved in the creation of further content, like the instruction texts and the audio tracks. Furthermore, our first prototype of KIT was formatively evaluated together with 18 nursing care students. To evaluate how well the final implementation of KIT can address nurses' needs, we conducted a qualitative mixed methods user study in a nursing care school. 26 nursing care students used KIT in 13 diets for learning according to a given scenario. The participants were between 19 and 29 years old, and all of them had participated in a kinesthetics basic course. In conclusion, our results indicate that KIT provides a good user experience adequate to the nursing school context and a good subjective support for the learning of kinesthetics. And the kit can promote the ergonomically correct conduct of patient transfers. Furthermore, our results also indicate how a system like kit might be integrated into and extend conventional practices to support learning in the future. I hope I made you curious about our paper, which explains further details about kit and the user study. Thanks for watching.